Techniques400s.com. Uh, had a few requests on oiling your spindle, so I thought I'd get to it and try to help people. First of all, if you're having problems locating the actual Techniques oil, uh, you can check us out at wwwtechniques 1200 with an S at the end.com. Uh, we got quite a stock of it, thank God, because uh, it has been discontinued. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to oil the spindle. Um, and uh, really, you should only have to do this probably about... Uh, for regular home users, probably about every five years. Um, for heavy users, DJs, uh, that sort of thing, you probably want to get to it uh, every year, year and a half, I would say, depending on how much usage you get. Um, so first thing we need is oil, Q-tip. Make sure your turntable is unplugged. That would be important. Uh, and that's about it. So we're going to take off the platter. Um, and if you're having trouble pulling your platter off, basically grab both fingers, your left and right hand, Put your fingers in there and pull up. You should get both of them with doing that. Now, if you don't, that just means that your platter is kind of adhered to the spindle. Not a problem. All you're going to do is you're going to pull up with one hand uh, under the fingers, of course. With the other hand, just lightly give it a little tap. And that should do it. That should separate the spindle from the platter, and it should come right off. We're going to take the platter off, and we're going to get to it. So give me one quick set. Platter off. As you can see... Uh, just going to adjust the camera here. As you can see, we've got the platter off. The grill is still on. You don't need to take the grill off for this. Uh, I'm going to set the camera right there. That should be a good angle for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Q-tip. We're going to, as you can see, the spindle does move up and down. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to grab it up, pull it up, put your Q-tip on the end, and turn while still pulling it up, okay? Because you want to get to all the dirt that's in there, any grime, any dirt. Then take your Q-tip and just move around. You should see some dirt as you can see there nice focus there okay so that's the dirt you want to remove that's the old oil any little fragments of dirt dust and whatnot so once you got that done you cleaned it perfect you want to grab your um, official techniques oil I do not recommend using anything else but official techniques oil if you need some again we have some on our website so then once again you're going to pull up on the spindle and you're going to apply just enough so that when you're turning it you see a little bit of a lip of oil there I don't know if you can see that. Work it in, work it around, move it up and down. If you did put a little bit too much, basically you want one or two drops. If you did put a little bit too much, use the other side of that uh, Q-tip that we cleaned it with, just to take off any little bit of excess oil there. As you can see, I did put a little bit too much there, and we got some oil, and it's gone down inside, so that's all we need. Once you have that done, you're pretty much done, okay? move it around make sure it works in there because the shaft does go all the way down in the cylinder and that's sort of where you want to get the oil um, so if you can work it in that'd be great of course playing it, it playing uh, your records and stuff will lubricate it and also make the oil go down so that's pretty much it once you've done that uh, you put your platter back on being careful not to hurt the magnet underneath the platter and you're ready to go for another year to five and a half years uh, six years even okay that's about it any questions, uh, feel free to contact us. Other than that, have yourself a great day. Cheers.